My battery's dead. I hate this thing. Oh. I know I already have one of these cabin filter videos, but I figured I'd make another one with me talking. It seems that people either like my voice or totally need uh, this play-by-play -play description, so to speak. So, uh, as you can see, I'm removing some fasteners. And I don't know what size this is because I ground it off. Um, probably a T15. There's one more here. You can get various types of tools in terms of torques. This is a small quarter inch bit set. Very handy. You can use it with extensions and then a ratchet. You can get torques in a stubby like this. So uh, buy whatever you can or whatever you can find. Uh, people always ask me what tools are required. Well, the tools are, that will get the job done. Uh, you don't necessarily need to buy what I have. This panel will pop up. If it hasn't been removed in a while, it'll be stiff. And there's an anchor here, a pin, so you have to pull it in that direction. See the two pins? Once that's out, more torque spits. Uh, yeah, I think these are T15. Maybe T20. I'll use a different bit later that's not um, ground down just to verify what size. But like I said, if you're going to buy a bit set, odds are that the bit that, the bit that you need is going to be in the set. And yes, for those guys that are impatient, I could be using one of my electric drills right now. But then I wouldn't be talking so much and you wouldn't get the chance to listen to me. So I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. Oh, and some of these have shoulders on them, so just be aware of that and it'll make sense to you where, when and where you take them out. You can see this one, the underneath is quite close, so it's going to be a flat one here. This one, it's got a deep sh deep uh, ridge here, so that's obviously going to be one of these guys. And I think that's it. Oh, one more here. Again, you'll see better on your own vehicle. I'm not here to show everything from every angle. You're basically just watching as I do my stuff, my mojo, my magic. Once all the bolts are out, you just lift this panel. It also sticks a little bit. Did I forget one? Oh, did somebody glue this one? slide it out. If you're lucky, no wildlife is going to run into your face. And here there's some clips here. So you release those with one finger. Pull up with the other. That's what she said. And then uh, you kind of grab the filter. and then out to the left you 
get a vacuum cleaner and go in here if you'd like and grab all the big pieces. Worst case is you turn the heater on and some of the stuff is going to come out of the vents. I will, I will show you how to uh, swap the filters. There's arrows here. So you want to place it in the car with the air going down. The blower motor sits here. And this one is actually quite old looking. Obviously it's doing its job. But you can see here it looks like an Audi still. And sometimes you can see a manufacturer date. I don't see a date here. And that's why I usually label mine. Here you can uh, also no date. That was the, oh, there is a date, 150609, so 2015 and whatever month, year, uh, depending on which way it is. So I always like to mark it. You should, should replace it every two years. So this guy just pulls out and these tabs sit inside the, the pockets on the end. making sure that uh, you got the arrows facing the right way. If they're this way, then these fingers are not going to fit in, as you can see. But I've seen people install it backwards. It still works, but uh, it holds better when, it's, when it goes in the way it's supposed to go in. Okay, so I'm just going to vacuum this, but it goes in the same way. Push it down until these retaining tabs go into the clips and assemble everything in reverse of removal. Thanks for watching.